Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In this video, what I'm going to call 3D fade effect, where you're doing a 3D effect, but it's kind of fading in, and, and you can really do a lot or, or play around with this for quite a bit. So just take any text, or any object, but any text. Grab your extrude tool. Don't really pay attention to how far you go or what direction, because now when you got the extrude tool, you can go and rotate it. Now we want to be able to see the text, and that looks pretty good. And then in this time, you can actually make it longer. But then you go, well, I might not be able to see the text again as bold, so you can do that. Then select it all, go to object and break the extrude apart. Click on the extrude and let's make it a gray right now. Then go down here to your color bucket, your fill bucket and double click on it. It'll come up with edit fill. And we're gonna go fountain fill. And you can see it's just gray. Let's add, double click on that color and then go right here to this color and we're gonna add a red. Go to this color, double click on it, and make it whatever color you want. I'm gonna go back to yellow. Like, well, I'm doing the opposite now. So let's, uh, you can always change that. So you can just click on that and make it red. Or whatever you think is gonna look nice. So now we got red and red, so it doesn't look good. We'll click on that and make it that yellow. So now we're kind of fading down. And then this is where a lot of people, you know, don't really know about. You can change the, the intensity of it. But then up here, you can actually rotate it and, like, get the yellow toward the bottom more. Just take your mouse and, and you can play around. I mean, look at the difference just by moving it a little bit. Anyway, that's a pretty cool. If I didn't hit OK. Let's go back over that. Let's double click on it because I want to see what that looks like. Edit the fountain fill. Let's take, uh, if I remember right, I had this yellow. So go down here and make it yellow. That's in the way. So just click off, double click on it again. And then go down here to, and pick red. That's kind of like what we had. And then don't forget, you can change your intensity, more yellow, less yellow. But here's the key, kind of spin this around. You can have the yellow on kind of at the bottom even. You can have it more to the left. You can have it more to the right. Let's leave it about right there. And let's, that's why I didn't hit OK, because I had it out. That's a pretty cool text effect. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.